Today we're looking at setting up the Universal ASIO for All sound card driver. Press F10 to open your audio settings or go to Options, Audio Settings. Make sure you're using the ASIO for All driver here. You can download it from asioforall.com if you don't see the option. Click on Show ASIO panel to open the driver settings. The control to adjust first is probably the ASIO buffer slider. Moving it left reduces playback lag or latency, and moving it right can significantly reduce audio glitches, pops and crackles. They call buffer underruns. Longer latencies allow your CPU more time to process audio, and so reduce buffer underruns. We recommend a minimum setting around 448 samples or 10 milliseconds if your CPU can handle it. Less than this just increases the CPU load and the tendency to cause underruns. Now above that you'll see the audio devices installed on your computer. If nothing is showing here, you'll need to reinstall your sound card drivers. This PC has a Creative X5 sound card and a Plantronics USB headset. Sometimes after selecting ASIO for all, you may not get any sound out of FL Studio. This is caused by the wrong output selected on the master channel, or it could mean the output is unavailable. If this is a problem, go to the advanced options from this spanner icon. At the highest level, click on these switches to turn all the devices on. Then expand the devices by clicking on any plus symbols. Then make sure you select everything to turn them on. In the case of the Creative X5 here, the list says that it has an input and an output device. But notice here there's a red X. That means the device is unavailable for ASIO for all to use. If you see this shut down FL Studio, then all the programs on your PC that might use audio as well. Things like Skype, Microsoft Messenger, media players, movie players, etc. Then restart FL Studio and open ASIO for all. You should find that the red X is gone. So how are these inputs and outputs used by FL Studio? If I look at the mixer and select a channel for input recording, I can see my Plantronics headset is available, but there's nothing from the Creative X5. Remember, it was unavailable. If you don't hear audio, make sure you're on the master mixer track and select the right output. You may need to try them all, as they're often cryptically named. Don't blame us, that's the sound card driver authors. With that, I hope you now have your head around the ASIO for all setup and are ready to enjoy FL Studio. Music